Welcome to Storytime with Jolly Kids. My name is Mr. Jamie and today's story is How Did I Get Here by Philip Bunting. Let's start at the beginning, or at least what we think is the beginning. Once upon a time, our entire universe fit into a space smaller than an orange. In those days, there wasn't much to see around here. No light, no stars, no earth. Until one day, there was a really, really, really big bang. And about the time it takes to eat an ice cream, all of the bits that make up our universe were created. This is the stuff we're all made from. You, me, this book, your lunch, we're all made of particles that have been around since the beginning of time. As they floated through the universe, some of these particles began to bump into one another. A few enjoyed each other's company so much that they decided to stick together. Eventually, so many particles stuck together that they started to make things. At first, they formed gigantic dust clouds. These dust clouds attracted more and more particles. Over unfathomable lengths of time, they created suns and eventually planets who can't resist the pull of a good sun. Our home planet is called Earth. There we are, towards the middle of our solar system. But Earth wasn't always quite as homely as it is today. At first, it was pretty warm around here, but over time, the Earth began to cool. As our planet continued to cool, more and more of those particles were drawn together. More arrived from space, riding on meteors. Some eventually became the land and water on the Earth's surface. Then one day, many moons ago, the Earth was not too hot and not too cold. That warm water was just right for the magic to happen. And just like that, life came into existence. The first life form was pretty simple. She couldn't see, hear, or wear a party hat. But she had one very special trick. She could make copies of herself. This is where all of our stories start. All life on Earth came from this single cell being. You can think of her as your great, great, great times a trillion, zillion, squillion granny. You, me, the trees, witch grubs, whales and wolves, we're all related to this little lady. All of life is one. She might have been simple, but your great granny, times gazillion, was no slouch. Through generations upon generations, her children, your ancestors, slowly adapted to make the most of life in the warm waters of our early earth. Then one fine day, one particularly unassuming but industrious little fish decided to see what she could see beyond the sea. Her land-loving children would go on to become land animals, from dinosaurs to donkeys, yaks to you. We can all trace our family tree back to this adventurous amphibian. And of course, your evolutionary adventure didn't stop there. Over unimaginable lengths of time, our ancestors adapted to life on the land, and then life in the trees. And from an ancestor we share with chimps, we slowly evolved into the species we are today, humans. The first humans lived in Africa, but our sense of curiosity and adventure soon took us to all corners of the earth, except Antarctica. We left that to the penguins. Eventually, we stopped wandering and began to settle down. We learned how to farm, we built communities, and then towns and cities. Then one night, only a few years ago, some of those particles that were once part of stars and the earth, and probably another life form or two, became you. Somewhere inside your mummy's tummy, day by day, you began to become you. Until one fine day, 
you made your grand entrance. And that is how you got here. You're very lucky to be here. You are one of the newest additions to a family tree that goes all the way back to the very first life on Earth. And just think, if any little thing had changed in the time after that first really, really big bang, you might have turned out a little different. For more fun and learning, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jolly Kids Sophia.